Hello dear friends, welcome to the third lecture of the polynomials. Before we start with the today's topic, uh, what we have discussed till now in this chapter, we have discussed about the geometric meaning of zeros. We have also discussed about the uh, relation between the coefficients of these zeros, uh, coefficients in these zeros of a quadratic polynomial and for a cubic polynomial. Today what we are going to discuss is about division algorithm for polynomials. You must remember that in chapter 1, that is the real number, you learned about Euclid division lemma. And according to Euclid division lemma, we had if A and B are two numbers such that A is greater than B, then there exist two positive numbers Q and R such that A equals to BQ plus R. Using that Euclid division lemma, today we are going to talk about division algorithm for the polynomials. So this is what we know about the division algorithm. The dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now I have given some symbols, some symbols to these all. If you talk about, if you talk about dividend, we say it's px, divisor is gx, quotient is qx, and remainder is rx. So we have the relation px equals to gx into qx plus rx. Let's verify this relation and also understand how to divide the polynomials using division method right so i have an example here it's written divide 3x square minus x cube minus 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 minus x square and verify the division algorithm now the first thing we should know which is the quotient uh, sorry which is the dividend and which is the divider so obviously it is written divide this so this is the dividend and this is the divider now before dividing two numbers two polynomials what we have to uh, make sure that the polynomials are written in the standard form that is from in the decreasing order of the powers so i write this uh, px in the form minus x cube plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 and then divisor is minus x square plus x minus 1 right i have just inter uh, uh, what we can say exchange the terms rewritten it in the standard form now I divide this dividend by divisor. You can see the division on this side. I have written minus x cube plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5. And I am dividing this by, this by minus x square plus x minus 1. Now when we are dividing the two polynomials, what is the first thing I have to remember? I have to, when I divide, what I have to do? I have to completely make this term as 0. Right? So what I do? I just check the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor, right? Now here the first term of the dividend is minus x cube and the first term of the divisor is minus x cube. I want the same thing below also. So by what number should I multiply minus x cube so that I can get minus x cube? So what I get? I get x. So I write x on the top. And then I have to multiply this complete divisor by this x. So when I multiply this thing with this, what I get? This is x minus x square into x is minus x cube. x into plus x is x plus x square and x into minus 1 is minus x. Now you can see I have changed the, uh, this, uh, you can say uh, this, uh, the signs. Right? Why I have changed the sign? Because you know division is a repeated subtraction. So when we subtract these two terms, the signs will change. You can write the signs, uh, which after changing the sign, you can write in the brackets below them. So when I subtract these two, these two gets cancelled. Right? And what I get next? This is 3 minus 1, I get it as 2x here. This is minus 3x plus 1x, I get it as minus 2x. And then I put the, the next term down, that is plus 5. Now again, I check the first one. From here the first part. Now, now with what number should I multiply minus x here so that I can get 2x here. So I have already written this is minus 2. So when I multiply this minus x here by minus 2, what I get? This is 2x here. But I have to multiply the complete divisor by minus 2. So what I get? 2x here. Minus 2 into x is minus 2x and minus 2 into plus 1 is plus 2. And 
again on simplification I get remainder as 3. So I have already written quotient is my x minus 2 and remainder is 3. Now in the question what we have got we have to verify the division algorithm and for verification I take uh, the right side that is gx into qx plus rx that is divided into quotient plus remainder. So when I substitute the value the gx that is minus x square plus x minus 1 into x minus 2 plus 3. So when I multiply these two I get it as x into these three terms minus x cube plus x square minus x then I multiply this thing with minus 2 I get 2x square minus 2x and then plus 2 and then this 3 comes. On simplification what I get minus x cube this is minus x cube this x square and plus 2x square get becomes 3x square minus x minus 2x becomes minus 3x and this becomes 3 2 plus 3 becomes 5 right and this was our dividend. So this is how we divide and then we verify. Let's take one more question. Now we will take a question from the uh, exercise 2.3. Now, in the exercise 2.3, I take the second part of the first question and what I have got, I have got Px equals to, Px equals to, uh, let me take the book, Px equals to x4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and the gx by which I have to divide this is x square plus 1 minus x. So obviously the first thing I have to uh, verify that they are written in the standard form or not. My dividend is written in the standard form but my divisor is not in the standard form so I will change the divisor uh, in the standard form. So I write like this something. This is x4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and when I write this in standard form, I get x square minus x plus 1. You must be thinking, there is no cubic term here. Right, now how to uh, remove the confusion. See, since cubic term is not there, it means the coefficient of cubic term is 0. So what we can do, we can just rewrite this thing. Rewrite this thing in the way, I can write it as plus 0 into x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Since cubic term is not there, so the coefficient is 0. So in that form, I can write it as, right. Now the first step, I have to completely cancel it using this. So with what number should I multiply x square so that I can get x4. So I get x square. I multiply the complete divisor with the x square. So I get x4 minus x cube plus x square. Then I change the signs because I am doing subtraction. So when I do the subtraction, this cancels, this is 0 plus 1, this is x cube or you can write as 1x cube also, although we don't write 1 and here minus 3 minus 1 becomes minus 4x cube plus 4x plus 5. Now the next thing, what I have to cancel out, I have to cancel out x cube. So with what number should I multiply x cube, should I, should I get x cube? So that will be x, so I multiply this complete term with the x cube. So I get x cube minus x square plus x, <coughs> excuse me, since it is subtraction, I change the signs, after changing the sign, these cancels, what I get here, minus 3x square plus 3x plus 5. Now, see, we will be keep on dividing till, till the degree of the remainder becomes less than the degree of the divisor. Here the degree is same so it can be divided right. So now with what number should I multiply x square so that I can get minus 3x square. So obviously this is minus 3. With minus 3 I multiply the complete divisor this is minus 3x square minus 3x uh, sorry plus 3x and then we have minus 3. Now I change the signs this is plus this is minus and this is plus. So this cancels this cancels and the remainder is 8. So this is how we divide right and uh, one thing more there can be multiplication in this question also uh, in the question they can ask 
if this one is uh, the uh, is the factor of this or not so how we verify by dividing it is a factor or not if the remainder becomes zero if suppose the remainder had been zero here it means the divisor is a factor of the dividend right then there is i take one very important question of this exercise that is the question number 3 Right now, in the question number three, I have got a polynomial p x equals to three x four plus six x square six x square minus two x square minus ten x minus five. Now, what is given? If you see, it's it's a it's a polynomial of degree four, and what more I have given? I I have what I got? I have got that. Root five upon three and minus root five by three are two zeros of p x. Now what I have to do? I have to find two more zeros of p x. Since it's a bicoplic polynomial, degree is four. It means there will be four zeros. So I have to find two more zeros of this polynomial. So how I can do? Obviously, I have to divide with something. Now with what we have to divide? Now how we proceed? Since I have I have got the two zeros of p x. Now if these two are zeros, I write given x equals to root five by three and x equals to minus five by three root are zeros of Px. Now, if this is the zero, if you remember, if x equals to a is a zero of a polynomial, then x minus a is a factor of the polynomial, right? So I change it. Therefore, x minus root five by three and x plus root five by three are factors of Px. Right, there are two ways of doing this question. This is the first type. This is the first way by which you can do this question. I will be discussing the second way also. Right now, if these two are factors, see, suppose uh, I have the number twelve and two and three both are factors of twelve. It means two into three is also a factor of twelve. So here also, therefore, x minus root five by three into x plus root five by three is a Factor of p x. Now, when I multiply these two, I get x squared minus five by three is a factor of of p x. What does it mean actually? It means when I will divide this p x with this quadratic polynomial, the remainder should be zero. This is the meaning of factor. So factor means the remainder should come zero. If the zero doesn't come, it means you have done some mistake. So just see very carefully how we do it now. Obviously, what we will do, we will be dividing it, dividing the given polynomial by the factor we have got. So let's divide it now. So I write three x four plus c x square six x square minus two x square minus ten x. Minus five, and I divide this thing by x square minus five by three. So again, the same way. Uh, see, since this is a factor, obviously the remainder should be zero, right? So don't get confused with this five by three. You can just simplify. Uh, I have to just take the first term. Now, with what number should I multiply x square so that I can get three x four? So obviously, what you will get, you will get three x square. See how you can get this number. You can divide these two numbers. The first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. You divide these two, you will get what is required, right? So I get three x squared. So when I multiply this thing with this, so this is three x four. And when I multiply three x squared with minus five by three, the three cancels, and what is left? Minus five x squared. Be make sure that. You are writing under the same power, so this is now it is a subtraction. So I change the sign. 
cancels. Then next thing comes six x cube, and here I have plus three x square minus ten x minus five. Right now again, this is the new term. So first term from the first term, what I get, I write it as six x. So when you divide, this is six x cube. And you multiply this. This is minus 10x. Again, you change the signs. This gets cancels, and this is 3x square minus 5. Now you multiply x square with plus 3. You get 3x square minus 5. Again, you change the signs, and this gets cancel. And you can see that remainder comes zero. Now, how to find the other two zero? The two zero are already given. Now this means this. Now if you if you apply the division algorithm for the polynomial, you have basically p x equals to x square minus five by three into the quotient we have got that is three x square plus six x plus three. Now we have, we already have the two zeros from here, which is given in the quotient. We have to find two more zeros. So what we take we we take this thing this polynomial. So we write therefore three x square Plus six x plus three, right? And we factorize this thing with, uh, by splitting the middle term, and you get three x plus three into x plus one. Now to find the zero, we put individual factor in equal to zero. Therefore, three x plus three equals to zero. X equals to minus one, and x plus one equals to zero. Therefore, x equals to minus one. So what we have, we write therefore root five by three minus root five by three one sorry minus one to so minus one are zeros of p x. So this is the four zeros of the p x. My dear friends, so what you can do now, you can just try out the different questions from the exercise. If you have any doubt, I say write in the comment section. Make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care.